I found some really cool things in the trash. When my head was in the garbage can, look what I found. Mom, what can we do with these? Oh, thanks, Duke. Okay, let's get the toilet paper and the glue off of those rolls using a little bit of water and a toothbrush. Gentle, circular scrubbing motions will get the toilet paper off. It might make a mess, so do it in a place where you can clean it up easily. I took a ruler and made marks on a piece of paper every half inch as a guide for my cut on the toilet paper roll. So I flattened out the toilet paper rolls and right along the edge I am marking every half inch with a pencil or a marker. Next, carefully I'm using the scissors and I'm cutting straight. Now I have all of my strips and I'm going to start to create little V shapes by just folding them in half as exact as I can, pressing hard and make little V's with the toilet paper strips. I'm just gonna keep folding all of them. Oh, that's pretty, Mom. Now comes the hard part. Take one V shape in one hand and pick up a second one. Push the folded part of one V shape into the folded part of the other V shape until it looks like this. So now you've created an interlocking L shape. So I'm going to pick up the third V cardboard shape and I'm going to put the folded ends of the V into the bottom of the L, the lower leg of the L, and push it all the way down. Kind of pull and make it nice and tight. Now I'm going to rotate it so I can see the open loops, and I'm just going to insert the next V shape, but I can't get it in because the loops are kind of tight. So I'm going to maybe take a pencil, open up those loops, and then take the next V shape and just really push each part of the V into those open loops until it fits just like this. And I'm going to rotate it in the same position every time so that I'm pushing the next V shape into those open loops. And you might have to do a little wiggling or opening up the loops with pencil so that they can fit right inside. And so watching me, I'm going to do the same thing over and over again until I have um, a length long enough for a bracelet or a belt or a headband or a crown or a dog collar or a jump rope, anything you can think of. Mom, are you done yet? Let me test it out by wrapping it around my wrist to see if it's long enough because I want it to be a bracelet. It looks like the right length, so I'm going to test by inserting the end tab into the first loop. And I'm going to apply glue on both sides of the tab that I'm going to insert. Hold up, Mom. You're doing it wrong. Stop. 
There, that's better. That's the right way. Whoops, thanks Duke, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I have some glue on there, not too much, and I'm going to hold it with a binder clip so the glue dries. Okay, at this point, you can choose to paint your bracelet any color you want. I'm using acrylic paint, not too much water. You can paint yours any color you want. I'm choosing gold. If you don't have any paint, you can also color it in with markers or just leave it plain. I changed my mind. I'm choosing a different color, so I'm painting over my gold paint with maybe a bronze color, which I like better. Just, Just patrolling, patrolling the yard. How come he gets a bracelet and I don't? Must you be on top of me? I'll dig in the trash too if you want me to. Excuse you, you're blocking my view of the wall, Mom. He's still on top of me. Why? Mom, I really want one too. If I give you these puppy dog eyes, will you make me one too? I'm pretty sure she loves me better. I'm gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ooh, I think I hear a garbage truck. Oh look, a butterfly. Is that a bird? It's still on me. Nope.